you your little how to on uh, Skype it's a uh, it's a internet phone application you can you know, it's an audio you can just talk or you can uh, you can have video and talk too of course there's those times when you might not want somebody to see what you're doing you'd rather just talk and uh, I had already let me show you where it is applications internet down here you'll always kind of get used to it. you'll recognize that blue s I had already made you I like to put things like that over here on the right like if you have other applications especially kind of get them out of the way you gotta put it in. I already made you a username I actually did it a long time ago on a Windows machine and you never ended up <coughs> when I was fixing one up for you that you never ended up using but uh, let's put in your password hit enter and it'll sign in and that's me you can talk to me that's the only person that uh, I have to put in there I suppose if I would have thought I could have opened mine up in my computer and could have called myself with that I probably would have worked but there's also this right here, Echo 123, is to test, and I think that's what we'll try. Uh, first, I'm going to show you. Here's the menu down at the bottom instead of up at the top. I think that's a new thing. I think it used to be at the top. This is change status. You can say uh, online, Skype me, which means anybody that wants to can call you away, not available, do not disturb, invisible. So you'd probably want to stay with online. I believe that's where it is so that uh, if you're really trying to talk to somebody so like if you could get June to do this y'all could talk you could even do video talk if you wanted to but you could just talk either way without spending any minutes on your phones so I think she could do that I think she she's always emailing and stuff it's not hard to install this program and set it up at all on Windows is even well either Windows is they're about the same uh, change start a conference call you can have more than one two people on there you could have you and June and Jerry on there if you could ever if you could get, ever get everybody to do that uh, options and uh, I'm not going to go into all of that because I've already set it up and, well let's see we'll go in there yeah it's a lot to it and I've already went through it before I believe or well the default should be fine but uh, I don't think we have any reason to go in there right now and sign out and quit and you probably want to hit quit when you're done because unless you think somebody might call you you can well if you sign out they can't call you they they won't get you so you either leave it running uh, you can always change your status to invisible and then uh, I don't know I used to do that with chat so I think you could do it with this you put it on invisible then only the people that know your little name TWB 350207 could uh, could uh, call you but <coughs> also my friends they thought well if he's invisible he's not online so they didn't try so when I used to use chat a little bit add or search for Skype contacts search for the Skype directory of an old and new friends if you know their Skype name full name or email address entered into this so you you could type June's or Sherry's email address in there and uh, you might have to add like the city they're living in and stuff like that uh, and you can find out if they're already on Skype <coughs> so let's uh, let's see that doesn't yeah there it is chat to ch contact yeah you can also chat regular typing I think that's what it is yeah and call oh it opened it up way over there I'm gonna drag it over here where I can see it Please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Hello, this is a test. It is only a test. A test of the Skype calling network. Thank you. Hello, this is a test. It is only a test. A test of the Skype calling network. Thank you. If 
you are able to hear your own voice, then you have configured Skype correctly. If you hear this message, but not your own voice, then something is wrong with your audio recording settings. Please check your microphone and microphone settings, or visit Skype.com for more help. Thank you for using the Skype call testing service. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Now. Um. Okay, it went away by itself. I was wondering if I was going to have to close that. You know, I keep telling you this is a video and audio application. I don't see anything about the web camera. This one may be one that's only for talking, which you probably wouldn't want to do the webcam anyway. <coughs> I know that uh, MSN and AOL, AIM, and all those will. You can uh, you can do video chat with them if you wanted to do that. <coughs> yeah. Let me look in here. Oh, that's just searching for somebody. Let's look in the settings after all. Because now I'm... I went through this before I started my video and I thought, okay, I've got it all lined out. But I forgot something. Alright, general, privacy, notifications, chat, SMS, you can talk to cell phone, you can... You can uh, I won't read that all out, but you can talk to cell phones. You can... You can have Skype, I think, forward the call to your cell phone or your house or something. Voicemail. It, it, it's pretty neat. Uh, if you See, you can actually call real phones with this, but you have to pay for that. That's what that $1 free call is about. They're trying to get you to sign up to pay. And it's pretty cheap. But... Uh, <coughs> Since you're already paying for your cell phone, you, might, you probably wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, video devices. Start my video uh, when I am in a call. Oh, I just didn't have it turned on, and it didn't. Only people I've allowed. That's why you'd want to keep that. Only people I've allowed. Yeah. And we won't go through a whole bunch. I... I I should have done this ahead of time. I thought I had it set up though. Let's look. We won't go through those things. Forwarding the calls. That's actually kind of interesting. If Lee was on the internet, I would definitely be able to do. Would do this with him. Okay, I think that's it. Close. Now let's do that test call again. It was kind of loud last time. It was kind of loud last time. I keep forgetting and hitting that volume button. I probably kicked the audio down. It, it interrupts my recording when I hit the audio up and down button. Okay. Test call. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Welcome to Skype call testing service. Now. Please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Well, it's working uh, as far as the making a call, but I don't see a video. Maybe I didn't have it checked where you can see your own video screen. Maybe if that's what well, it is. It's working uh, as far as the making a call, but I don't see a video. Maybe I didn't have it checked where you see your own video screen. If you are able to hear your own voice, then you have configured Skype correctly. If you hear this message, but not your own voice, something is wrong with your audio recording settings. Please check your microphone and microphone settings or visit skype.com for more help. Thank you for using the Skype call testing service. Goodbye. Goodbye. I like that. They're out of Australia, I think, is why they talk like that. So I think that's where Skype is from. Okay. Um, let's stop this one right here, and it's got me curious. I'm going to half to um, go and uh, open up my Skype and see if I can see if I can see myself on, on one or the other, you know. Okay. Uh, okay. Hope this worked. Did not work. Hmm. We have no video.